G'day, I'm Stuart from Australian Clutch. Today I'm going to run through the basics on how to remove a Mitsubishi Subaru or Nissan pull type release bearing. Um, many of these vehicles and performance type vehicles run a pull type release bearing uh, like the TB33001. Um, and what I'm going to do is give you a quick demonstration on Mitsubishi transmission on how to actually remove the release bearing from the pressure plate before you actually remove the transmission from the vehicle. The first thing we're going to do is remove the rubber plug that is in the bottom of the bell housing and what that's going to do is allow us to get access to where the release bearing and pressure plate meet inside. You'll then be able to take a flathead screwdriver and stick that inside the bell housing in between the pressure plate and the release bearing. With your flathead screwdriver inside the bell housing, what you're going to want to do is stick the screwdriver right between the crown clip and the release bearing and push the clutch fork so the bearing goes into the pressure plate and give your screwdriver a slight twist and pull the release bearing straight out.